Right. Ready and you are Mr. D. Mill. Way out in the vast unknown, in some far-flung corner of space, must lie the planet called Zog. Why, you may ask, why the planet Zog? The answer, my friends, is simple. While out eradicating space debris, the following object was found and brought back to Earth. For years, scientists puzzled over the meaning of the signs written on it. Then, one day, a lucky accident occurred. Excuse me. A Professor Einschwinkler was using a mirror to pluck hairs from out of his nose. When, holy tweezers, he caught the reflection of the can in the mirror. This, fellow humans, is what those strange symbols meant. The can contained a roll of film. What was contained in that film and what follows is an accurate account of the habits and customs of the inhabitants of Zog. It in no way tries to sensationalize their behavior. Yet, inevitably, our own notions of what is moral, of what is sexually decent, of what and who we are, are brought into question. The Zogs visually resemble human beings, except in one crucial regard. The sex organs and heads of these mysterious creatures are, to our way of thinking, the wrong way around. In fact, the brain of the male of the species is found in what we know as the testicles. The well-known saying, he's got his brains in his balls, could in fact point to what some scholars have long believed that the earth in days gone by was visited, was visited by, by alien, alien creatures from space. Space. These visitors could well have been the Zogs. Zogs, strangely enough, have much in common with Earthlings. Here, we see one preparing perhaps to go out and meet his loved one. They speak by rapidly expelling air from within their bodies. It is not unlike that made by humans, though it is for entirely different reasons. Oh, and uh, by the way, the sound is completely odorless. For the Zogs, a kiss is only a form of greeting and has definitely no sexual connotations. Just like little boys everywhere, young Zogs have a horror of kissing their old and decrepit great aunts at Christmas time. Of course, both male and female Zogs, due to the narrowness of their mouths, have to take in food through a straw-like contraption. Notice the reddening between the legs. Scientists believe this coloration is due to sexual arousal brought about by the consumption of food.
after a large meal and as a precursor to sexual intercourse, the Zogs pay a visit to the bathroom. Waste is evacuated by them through what would be for us our mouths. ejaculated by her into the male's mouth. We perhaps would call it spitting. This activity is indulged in en masse after meals, and for this reason often takes place in restaurants. It could rightfully be called group sex, or what the Germans call Gruppensex. Open this door! It is, of course, necessary at birth to remove all the father-to-be's teeth, apparently without any anesthetic. This is to clear the father's mouth of any impediments that might hinder the birth. This extraordinary sight is of a male Zog feeding his child. A tiny aperture emits a milky white fluid on which the young Zog thrives. A large part of the child's time is spent learning about Zogian morality. This young Zog has been caught hand shaking. In the privacy of their own homes, the Zogs dress themselves and perform strange hand-shaking rituals. For a Zog couple to be seen fully clothed, performing this obscene act in public would be considered an outrage. There is, however, a thriving underground circuit of films and videos depicting such acts. Here we see a crude attempt at censorship. What Zogs hate above all else is hypocrisy. And, as a direct consequence, it's not only the captains of industry and stockbrokers that receive knighthoods, but also the petty thieves and crooks. Do the Zogs believe in Christ? Yes, you'll be glad to know they do. But perhaps not so glad to know that they, like us, believe they are created in God's image. Funnily enough, the Zogs' Christmas is very similar to our own. I.e., they do what most good old boys do get drunk, sit around, and watch a lot of TV. It is not only me that is offended by this mutt, this filth, this excrement, but every right-minded citizen here tonight. Destroy the film! Destroy it! These creatures must not be allowed to infect us with their degenerate
By some weird coincidence, the Zog's tomb had come by a film of customs here on Earth. And, strange to say, they were outraged by our behavior and demanded that we and our planet should be obliterated. Oh, <gasps>